Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I'll be showcasing how to do a smooth rotate. So inside of the scene, I just have a body with the rotating script on it, and we could change the rotation speed. Let me go and change it to three just to show the smooth rotation. We also just have a little red tube just to show where it's rotating, and the target is a little red circle. And when I go in to move it, you can go and see that it's smoothly rotating. And to achieve this effect, it's actually very simple, and it's not a whole lot of code. First, we're going to be needing a reference to our target. We're also going to be needing a variable to handle our rotation speed. And then inside the update method, I went ahead and created a custom method called visuals just to keep the code clean. Inside the visuals method, first we're going to be wanting to get the direction to the target. So we're going to do target.position minus our current position. Then we're going to be go ahead and getting the uh, interpolate values or the uh, smooth values to uh, rotate from our current rotation to the desired rotation. So all this means is uh, we'll start off our current rotation and we're going to be looking for our desired rotation and based on our rotation speed times time to delta time so it's consistent with all frame rates uh, it'll interpolate those values smoothly automatically for you. And to achieve the ability to only rotate on the singular axis which for me is the y axis I go in and set the x rotation to uh, 0 and the z rotation to 0. And then I finally apply those rotations to the uh, rotation of the current object. And when I go back in and I go in and press play and play test it, you go in and see that it works. The rotation speeds at 30. If I go in and lower it to about like three, then you can see it's significantly slower. Hopefully this was helpful. This was something I wish I knew how to do when I was first starting out with some of my older projects. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment them down below. If you have suggestions for future tutorials, I'll be taking them as well and considering them. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful.